The leg lasso, leg bar entrance. It's a killer, you're gonna love it. Hey guys, Chris Tom here, here today with Paul. Uh, one of my favorite techniques, guys, leg lasso, I love it. We've had a look at a previous video only about a week ago of uh, one of my favorite uh, sweeps, the catapult sweep, and now we're gonna have a look at one of my favorite leg bar entrances. Uh, I really love this one um, because uh, it's so hard to stop and it really gets your opponent guessing because from the leg lasso, you can do a lot of sweeps and a lot of attacks. And if you learn to do a lot of attacks to both the upper body and the lower body, Whoa, that's three things people need to worry about. Upper body attacks, lower body attacks, and sweeps. It really puts them in a hard position to pass that guard, okay? So, if my partner here is standing, I can still play my leg lasso game, okay? By coming in like this. So he might start standing, and I come in with my leg lasso. Or he might start on his knees, okay? And I put my leg lasso in, Okay, but now he stands up, which is a really smart approach because now it's harder for me to do my catapult sweep. So he's basing out and I can't seem to get anything. So the first thing I'm gonna do with my right foot here is I'm gonna hook on the outside of his leg here. And he can pace it back further, it's fine, even if it's his right foot's further back. That's no problem, guys. You won't have any problem hitting the sweep. So sometimes when they really put their legs back like that, it can be hard to do other things and you start feeling weight through your leg lasso. So I always put my right foot here, instep to instep, okay? And now I'm gonna follow my right foot with my right hand. So I'm just coming in here and I've just gone palm up right here. So I have my foot and then I have my hand. And now I'm simply gonna invert. So I just invert like this, okay? So I've just rolled from my side to my back and I'm using my hand to help me. Once I'm here like this, it looks like I'm carrying a log on my shoulder. My right leg is gonna come right around his thigh here and just latch, very easy to do, just like this. And now I'm gonna start cutting him down, just like I want him to land straight onto his uh, head. And he's gonna get cut down, and while he's getting cut down, I'm now gonna switch off and I'm gonna control his other leg. Okay, this is optional, all right? But I find if I don't control this other leg, too many guys these days try to put their foot in your butt and just kick out of the knee bar. And unless you've got it really tight and that you can really injure them, they'll often just get a sore knee and get out at higher levels. So I like to make sure that I'm covering this other leg and then I make sure I grab here, I use my head to control his toes and then I'll finish with one hand. If necessary, I'll come over with two but I really like to hold both legs, okay? So I've got my feet here, I can put my feet on his butt if I need more power, and just extend for the finish. So let's have a look at this, guys. I know this looks complicated, but this is not complicated. This is actually a really easy attack. So I've got my partner here, and I've done a leg lasso, and he's standing up, and I can't get anything else to work. So my right foot is just gonna locate his instep here, and now I'm gonna spin under with my hand and spin all the way onto my back. Okay, there's lots of different sweeps from here and we'll cover them in future videos. However, for now, my right foot is gonna come around over his side. And now I'm just gonna cut him down this way. As I cut him down, I let my left hand go and grab onto his other foot. I don't want any him kicking out shenanigans. And now, I just finish. Very easy. One time now, speed. So, I've got him here. And I can't make anything else work, so I'm just going to spit out there, cut him down, and now finish. Very easy to do. I really like this one. If you do find that for some reason you can't get a finish, there's a neat little toe hold you can make work here. And then if he starts kicking out of it, I can always switch back. Okay? Just something I like to do in class sometimes uh, to make rolls go for a little bit longer. So there you go, guys. One of my favorite techniques. This is really easy. Uh, as long as you can invert comfortably and you have the, the required flexibility, which I don't think is much at all, this is a really hard technique to stop. At worst, you get a sweep. At best, you get an easy leg bar, so that's even better. But don't forget, guys, in RBJJF competitions, you have to be brown on black belt to do the leg bar, okay? So thanks very much for watching, guys. I'm Coach Tom. I'll see you next time. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. I hope you loved it. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel or check out more of our YouTube videos here. We are a free BJJ resource bringing you BJJ techniques and tips and hacks 
every day for free forever to make your life on the mats more fun. I'm Coach Tom. I'll see you next time.